And now, here's your host of Shaping Success, Wes Tankersley. What is up, everyone? Welcome to Shaping Success. I'm your host, Wes Tankersley. Uh, Today is the Wednesday show. This is the live, raw, unedited, uncut version. If you can please do me a favor, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so that every time I go on, every time you see one of my videos, it pops up on your uh, feed. Uh, I'd love to get more subscribers trying to hit 1,000, trying to get those 4,000 watch hours so that we can monetize that bad boy. I need your help. Um, I'm posting a lot more shorts there. I have... 21.5k followers on TikTok. And I think that the biggest thing is TikTok is moving more towards YouTube SEO optimization. And it's really tough to get more uh, followers there anymore. You know, I was having quite a bit of luck there. My Instagram is not falling. Did you know that I'm everywhere on social media? You can click the link in my bio, wherever you're watching this to check it out. Podcast is doing great. The audio version of this, this, this will go on video. This will go on audio. I appreciate you paying attention wherever you're going. If you're looking for some shaping success gear, such as stickers, um, hats, shirts, we have them blue, black, and green are the colors that we currently have right now. Love to get them out to you. $27 a shirt. So get that shaping success swag. If you're looking for it, Uh, I wanted to talk to you about something that's been going on in my life. Um, I have been on a journey to exercise for 47 days I've been working on my diet. I've been drinking less. I've been doing all these things to try and help my health. Um, Started with having this cough that would not go away, which my doctor thinks is due to acid reflux, which is caused by being overweight. Um, I have struggled with my weight for a long time in my life. It's been one of those things that I have always struggled with and always have worked on. I've always been a big person. Um, You know, by the time I was a sophomore in high school, I was 6'3", 260, about where I rest in weight. And right now I'm currently at 280, but I have been up to 350 pounds. I have been on diets my whole life. I have been working on my weight my whole life. And it's been a struggle. And every time I go and do something, I start to do it and then I overdo it. I've made some shifts in my life that have allowed me to exercise a little bit more, but I started out slow. I decided I have a spin bike. I have an elliptical. I thought, you know what? I'm going to start out on this spin bike. I'm going to do 30 minutes a day. I promised myself that I would do that. So I have done that. I have kept up with that for 47 days now. It's been a struggle. Um, You know, I had to shift things in my life. I had to change my schedule. I'm a very regimented person and my schedule is very important to me. So one of the things that I had to do was I had to change the way that I did things. I wake up in the morning. I'm an early riser. I get up at five o'clock every morning and I would go downstairs and I would make cup of coffee. And as I'm drinking my cup, my cups of coffee, because I'd have about three or four every day, I would look at my iPad and play games on it. I haven't played those games. Now I'm starting to wonder why I have the iPad, because that was really the only reason to have it was to play games in the morning is what it seems like. And so that would be my morning routine. And then at six o'clock, I'd go upstairs, I'd take a shower, I'd go and do the work that I had to do before my work day started at around nine, depending on the day, um, depending on if I'm scheduled at eight or nine or whenever to start my first appointment for my daily job. Contrary to popular belief, this is a part-time side hustle type gig that I do that I don't make a whole lot of money on, but I enjoy doing it. And I like to talk to people from different walks of life and show them that success is generated by them. If this is the first time listening, you probably didn't know that. And there are some awesome interviews. One of the best things you can do is go subscribe wherever you're doing it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the podcast platform because it's on every single freaking platform there is. Um, and, uh, listen and help me to grow the show. Those downloads help. They're free. You don't have to buy any merchandise, which I do have. You don't have to spend any money on anything other than just listen to it because the more you listen to it, the better off it is spreading the word, sharing it, posting it on your social media, those types of things helps it to grow. But anyway, back to the workout situation. I started doing that on a daily basis in the last three days, I've actually, this is day three, added 15 minutes of elliptical to that. Now you guys are sitting there probably going, oh, this is a cardio thing, cardio this, cardio that. Well, the fact of the matter is, is lean muscle mass does help. And if you didn't know, I'm a kinesis major as well. So I have a little bit of an idea of what's going on with the body um, because it's the study of movement, right? But the fact of the matter is, is that there is really only one way to lose pounds and that is to eat less and exercise more. So you have to have a deficit in your caloric intake. That's really it. Now, I don't know how I don't have that, but it doesn't happen half the time. I need to be more consistent with logging my food. But what I'm trying to do is stack habits. So 
the habits that I am stacking is eating less, exercising more. So I'm stacking the 30 minutes on the bike with 15 minutes of elliptical. And then I'm going to start doing 20 push-ups every day. And then I'm going to add 20 sit-ups every day. And I'm going to start with body stuff. And I'm doing this slowly because every single time I exercise, I end up overdoing it. Hell, I can go get on my, on my road bike right now and go ride for an hour and 15 minutes and be okay. But consistently doing it every single day is what I'm trying to do. The problem is, is when you get done doing something like that, you are tired, you are burnt out. And then the next day you go to go do it, everything hurts. You don't want to do it again. Well, I learned recently, and I've known this because I've always pushed myself to be better than what I am. I've always worked harder every single day. And if I can't do it, and if I'm not in the right mindset, that will not happen. And so I've learned recently that I go out, I work my ass off, I hurt, and then I don't want to do it again. But I read a book, or listened to a book, because I listen to them while I'm driving, called You Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And he was started talking about all the things that he did. And I really just thought, you know what? You are, you are weak. And you're weak in the mind. Because you let those things stop you. You let the soreness stop you. You let the tiredness stop you. You let your mind, you let your mind tell you that you can't do it. And every time I get on that elliptical, I post, I put a picture of myself because at one point I was at 230 pounds and I felt really great. All my clothes fit right. Everything was awesome. And I want to go back. So every time I'm like, Hey, this is, Oh, I can't do this. You know, 15 minutes in 20 minutes in, like, uh, this is good enough. I look at that picture and I go, horse shit. I need to keep going. So find that reminder. The other things that I've been doing is I've been, my shoes are downstairs, ready to go. I sleep in my shorts that I work out in and my tank top. It's normal stuff that I normally sleep in. I don't, you know, I don't sleep naked like some people or I don't sleep in just my underwear. I'm ready to go. So I get out of bed, I grab a pair of socks, I go downstairs, put my shoes on and go straight to it. And what happened was I started realizing, well, five o'clock is not enough time for me. I still enjoy the sitting down, drinking coffee and winding a little bit. But what I have to do is I have to make exercise part of that. And I have to make sure that I have time built into that so that I can continue to do the things I did. So recently, I switched my alarm clock from 5 o'clock to 4.30, gave myself an extra half an hour. And when I get to the point where I'm working out an hour and a half every single day, which will come, then there we go. We're good to go. So it's habit stacking. It's putting that time into it. And one of the things that you know David Goggins talked about that was really crazy was like, There's 40 hours that you mostly work in a week, right? 40 hours that you mostly work in a week, okay? So there's 24 hours in a day times seven. We got 168 hours. So you take out 40 hours, 128, right? Well, you're supposed to sleep eight hours a day. We take out another 40 hours because that's eight hours a day. You got 88 hours. What are you doing with those other 88 hours? What is your excuse to not do something? It doesn't have to be working out, but what is your excuse not to take another class? What is your excuse not to take the next step towards whatever it is? What is your excuse not to read a book? Well, I want to sit down and watch TV. I want to talk to people. I want to do this. I want to do that. And we can always find excuses to not do the things that we want to do. So the point is, is that we need to be willing to realize and think about those things that are taking place that are stopping us from attaining our goals because we never have enough time. Okay, so you're working two jobs. All right, let's take out another 40. 48 more hours, okay? 48 more hours. So this, if you wanted to start a podcast, this is gonna take me a couple more minutes. I'm gonna keep going like this. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna automatically upload it to YouTube and I'm gonna schedule it and then I'm gonna put it in the podcast and schedule it for next Wednesday. All of that in like 30 minutes. So what it really boils down to is, are you maximizing your time? Are you utilizing your time for what it's worth? Are you sitting there scrolling on social media? Are you sitting there just watching TV? Are you wasting your time and then telling people you don't have time? Because the time is there. It's about how you manage it. So think about that today as you go out there. Think about the time management, the way that you utilize what you are doing. Are you maximizing your efficiency to make it better? Are you 
prioritizing what you need to do. And that's how I get so much done. Someone asked me how I multitask so well, and that's what it is. I have laser focus in what I'm doing. And I'm not focused as most people, but I do my best to make sure that the regimen is consistent and I follow through with things that I say I'm going to do. So write down what you do in a day. Think about the hours you spend. Go through there and maximize your efficiency. Maybe you need more than eight hours of sleep. That's okay. Work it in there. Maybe you need some time to unwind. Go ahead. Work it in there. But understand that the only thing that is stopping you from doing what you want to do is right between your ears. I don't have time. I can't do it. I'm not strong enough. Those are all things that you can sit there and say, which are bullshit. You're lying to yourself. And I lied to myself before, and that's why I'm talking about it. I lie to myself all the time and tell me that I can't do this, or that's not going to work out, or that's not going to do this, or that's not going to do that. It's really about spending the time to find the time to do it. So I hope that this finds you in a good place. And um, if you have any questions, please make sure you DM me. If you want to talk about anything, that's great. Like I said, please subscribe, hit the bell. Make sure that you write a review if you can. If you don't like it, that's fine. I don't care. Just, you know, it is what it is. Now, I'm not everyone's cup of tea, and I understand that. But I am here to help those in need. Until next time, I challenge you to find the shape of your success.